and welcome. I'm just going to run through the steps from the top um, to the bachata choreography. And we'll do it both ways so you can see in both directions. So we'll start in this direction. So first we're going to do one, two, three, four, cross, five, six, and seven, eight. One, two, and three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, four. Five and six and seven, head roll eight. Okay, let's try that from the front now. Five, six, seven, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven, eight. One, two and three, four. Five and six and seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, four, five, and six, and seven, head roll, eight. So a tip with this is to dance underneath of yourself. So try to keep the footwork small and contained. This will definitely help with the timing as well. Um, when you're doing these ones, make sure that your weight is on the foot that's planted in the ground. It's more grounded. Therefore, your other foot can pretty much move anywhere. Okay, and with the half counts, so when you're doing one, two, and three, so notice that I don't step big and step out. I want to keep everything right underneath my body. One, two is behind, three for place, sorry, one, two, and three. So everything really, the circumference of where my feet are is directly underneath of my shoulders. So think of the width of your shoulders as your parameters as to where you can step with the fast counts. Okay, so when you're doing this step, one, two, and three, four. Tap and tap and tap together. This step here, think of it, just focus on your feet for now. The body movements will come later. So this move is just step one, one, two, step three, four, step five, step six, step seven, step eight. Okay, again, so it's just step one, two, step three, four, step five, step six, step seven, step eight. So it's alternating. Okay, and then when you're doing that, you want to add in, after you do that, you want to add in your lean with the arms. So when you step on one, two, you're going to push back. And come forward, one, two, three, four, you're going to go back and arms are going to come forward. Then you're going to go five, again, forward, back, forward, back. So your arms are essentially just swinging, helping your body to transition and change. It's a weight change. Every time you step, step forward, step back, step forward, step back. You're shifting your weight from forward to back. So when you do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Your arms are helping you transition with that move. Okay, let's run it through with the music, shall we? Two, 